I've reviewed a lot of PC VR headsets in my time, and this is the largest PC VR headset that I've ever reviewed. It's with Mardu VR, and today we're diving into a headset turning a lot of heads in the PC VR community for the right and wrong reasons. We're talking about the Pi Max Crystal Light. I've been using it for about a month now, and it's time to do a comprehensive review of this very mighty headset. The Crystal Light is the leaner brother cousin to the OG Pi Max Crystal, and when I say leaner, it drops a lot of those premium features that the OG had, but you also get a reduced price with the Pi Max Crystal Light for $800, $900 versus the $1599 of the OG. Now, before we get into the full breakdown, after using this headset extensively for the past few weeks, I have to tell you guys that Pi Max is having a very special deal right now where you can trade in old VR headsets for a special discount. And what's really dope is that you don't have to actually ship the headset out. You can, it's a, technically an E-Trade, which is, I've never heard of any other company doing this. So if you have extra VR headsets laying around, this is a really great deal. All you have to do is submit this form that I'm showing on the screen right now, and they confirm your purchase of the headset and boom, you get a discount code and you can submit multiple VR headsets. So if you're a person who wants to upgrade, but it just ain't hitting the wallet right, this is the perfect chance to do so. And I'll repeat, you literally do not have to send your headset in. I, and I'll repeat that again. You do not have to send the headset. It literally is just an E-Trade. There's no type of physical uh, anything happening on your side. So shout out to Pymax for that because that's actually a pretty good deal. And if you like my review of this headset and want to purchase and also have a discount code below with the link if you want to support the channel. And before we get into the meat and potatoes, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, man. We just hit 10,000 subs and I am so grateful. Like it's been a long journey. You guys don't understand how much this means to me personally. And 20K is next, so buckle in and let's go. All right, guys, here are the raw specs. Embrace yourselves because this is where Pymax really flexes harder than the competition in the same price range. For resolution, we're talking 2880 per eye. That is a massive jump in clarity over other headsets in the same price range. We're also talking about a QLED display with mini LED included for local dimming. The refresh rate of this headset is 90 hertz native and 120 hertz in experimental mode. And for field of view, we're talking 125 degrees horizontal and up to 140 degrees diagonal. Now, I personally measured 104 degrees horizontal and vertical. So a lot of times companies will put a diagonal FOV. I don't really think it matters much because most people go by horizontal and vertical. So for me, when I put on the pop of light, the FOV is really amazing. And I get more of an all around FOV instead of kind of like an up center FOV that I would get on my Meta Quest. In terms of weight, this headset is 580 grams. So this is a very heavy boy, but it is much lighter than the original crystal, which is kind of insane. And I'm gonna be quite honest with you, that 580 grams, you feel all of that. <laughs> the Pyron Crystal Light also has manual IPD adjustment going from 58 millimeters to 72 millimeters. So for tracking, you really got two options. You can do base station, or you can use the slam controllers. Now, you do have to get a faceplate upgrade to use the base stations, which actually work pretty good most of the time. And the slam controllers are pretty decent. Now, there's been mixed reviews on them. Personally, I didn't have a lot of issues with them, but I also didn't use them as much as somebody who, you know, who doesn't have base stations. So for that, I always recommend going to discords and subreddits for more opinions. And this headset does come with audio. So it comes with off-ear speakers and an integrated mic that I will let you guys hear later. And I must say that the mic is something special. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see. This headset is also wired only, so no wireless capabilities as of right now. So overall, the Pymax Crystal Light really flexes in terms of specs, and they really focus on just visual firepower, and it really shows in the games and the experiences. And speaking of visual experiences, that's where the Crystal Light really shines, and the visuals are just like chef's kiss. The resolution of this headset is crisp as hell, and the lens clarity is honestly the best I've used under a thousand dollars for a VR headset and better than the Quest 3. Mini LED with local dimming and the software gives you actual contrast that you won't get anywhere else under a thousand dollars. So basically what that means is that dark environments actually look like dark environments in VR. And if you're a flight sim person or a racing sim kind of person, this headset is legit made for you. Like I said earlier, and I really stand on this, if I didn't have any other headsets over that $1,000 range, this would be my absolute best looking headset. Cyberpunk, shooters, UEVR, 
Project Wingman. Everything looks insane and is a crazy visual upgrade in the Pymatch Crystal Light. The FOV is wide, the clarity is straight up gorgeous, and the binocular overlap is really nice and just complements a great visual experience. I'm always genuinely amazed when I put this headset on because it's so much quality under a thousand dollars and that's like really dope especially for gamers who are kind of on a budget now obviously this headset is marketed and really shopped to like simmers but not everybody who plays pc vr is a simmer i personally enjoy using the pymax crystal light for games and experiences outside of simming which i will get to later all right let's dive into comfort and build quality fresh out of the box the crystal light is an absolute unit we're talking Heavy, chunky, and front heavy like a bulldog wearing a backpack. You got glasses? Well, no can do, my friend. I found out there was, this wasn't enough space for eye viewing festivities like glasses. And here's the kicker. Even though this thing is massive, big headed legends like myself will still feel squeezed when you put the headset on. Kind of like a lemon, not gonna lie. That's why it's always a great time to grab some prescription inserts from my buddies at VR Rock. So VR Rock, is always hooking me up with lenses for reviews and they're very wallet friendly and my go-to for every VR headset that I own. Make sure you use code MARIDU for 10% off your order and treat yourself to something good, man. For the crystal light, you slap on a counterweight, swap out that face cushion, throw in a top strap, and then boom, you got yourself a pretty beastly machine. I even teamed up with the legends at Studio Form to test their Pymatch Crystal Light upgrade kit and counterweights because I always see if there's upgrade kits for VR headsets and I had to see if it could transform this behemoth into an actual marathon machine like I like my headsets. And it worked really well. So when I wear my headset, it feels like an even distribution of weight. If you're getting a Pymatch Crystal Light, you're definitely gonna need the upgrade kit because I can't imagine the headset without it. But I must say this thing is shockingly cozy for those long gaming sessions after some tweaking. I even used a new setup on a VR treadmill stream with the Crystal Light and had an absolute blast rocking it for like two to three hours straight during my stream. Now the headset does get pretty warm over time, but honestly, every headset does. So I don't really hold that against them. I've personally never had a headset that was really comfortable out of the box. So Pymax definitely concentrated more into the technical viewing experience than comfort like most companies do. So if there's ever a Pymax Crystal Light 2 that's maybe like smaller, more compact, I hope they prioritize comfort because I feel like no companies out here really do that. And I would like Pymax to, you know, take the initiative to be one of the first companies that do. All right, let's dive into the software situation. So the Crystal Light runs on Pymax Play and here's the deal. It actually works pretty well most of the time. We're talking about 95% solid performance over the past month. Now, I've definitely heard some horror stories floating around about it being buggy and playing hard to get with certain setups, but honestly, my experience has been pretty smooth sailing. But, and I'm gonna say this, this is a pro tip for my review watchers. My experience will not always be the same as you guys. Just saying. So if you get a headset or anything that I recommend and if the experience is not 1-1, one, one, sorry. That's why I always tell you guys in these reviews, definitely check out the discords, man. Go to the discord, go to the subreddits. Go talk to the people, man. My opinion is my opinion and their opinion is their opinion, but you need all the opinions to form your opinion. That way you can get the good, the bad, and you know, why is my headset speaking French and all the other you know, funny things that happen with VR headset. What I genuinely dig about the Pymax Play app is the layout. It's actually pretty nice I, in terms of functionality. You can buy PC VR games right there. You can launch your Oculus Rift Classics, fire your pristine VR library, all from one spot. It's pretty nice. Sure, the Crystal Light isn't a native Steam VR headset and does need a Pymax Play app to do its thing, but this device's software comes loaded with some seriously cool features. You get local dimming, foveated rendering, a lighthouse faceplate setup, IPD offset adjustments, and a bunch of other really good settings that actually enhance your experience better than any other headset I've used. The software also lets you tinker with each game's graphic settings, so if you want foveated rendering for one game, not the other game, then you can do that. So it gives you a custom piece PC VR experience that a lot of PC VR heads like myself always want. And we have to talk about the local dimming that's implemented in the software. It's honestly the closest I've seen to any non micro OLED headset almost get to that micro OLED experience and it totally blew my mind. All right, let's talk audio and spoiler alert, it's not great news. The Crystal Light's audio situation as well is let's say it's about as impressive as a kazoo orchestra. 
both the mic and the onboard audio sound are being transmitted through a phone from 1995 it's really bad for a headset at this price point i was definitely expecting something a bit more sophisticated than generic drive through speaker quality and to prove my point listen to this this is an audio test for the crystal light this is the audio can you hear me yes this is how the audio sounds and this is why i got roasted in discord yeah it's it's pretty rough look i get it not every headset can nail every feature and i don't expect every headset to but we're dropping this kind of cash you hope the audio wouldn't sound just so bad if you're serious about this headset and and let's be honest your, your ears you're gonna definitely want to budget for a separate audio solution and think of it as buying the audio separately because technically that's exactly what you're doing and to warn you putting headphones around the crystal light is very difficult because the headset is just so wide now i end up breaking a pair of astro a50x's this is my second pair i broke the pair like around here and it was very tragic because i love those headphones i was out of headphones for like a few days but yeah be careful i would say take off the if you just take off the audio solution on the headset to make it a more comfortable fit because it will snap the headband of a pair of headphones all right let's get into the real meat and potatoes of the video and probably about most of you guys are here actually gaming with the crystal light is beastly it's just a pure visual experience and it's just nice in the best way possible guys we're talking accurate blacks fov wide enough to see into next week and clarity is so crisp you'll wonder if you've been missing it all your life this headset delivers eye candy across every type of content like it's halloween but big but here's where some people will tap out you are tethered to a pc i know i know it's 2025 and we're still done with cables but honestly man just go grab an amvr cable management pulley system or your ceiling and suddenly wires don't matter anymore and you got better graphics it has quite literally never failed me i mean even like right here you can see i can just pull it down amazing now the lighthouse faceplate tracking can get a little bit moody sometimes but for me, it works like 95% of the time. Fair warning though, this headset does run hotter than a summer day in Alabama, and you'll definitely want to get an absorbing face gas if you plan on moving around a lot, but it's a fan, unless you enjoy the kind of authentic, you know, sweaty cave dweller experience that a lot of people look for. Also, your PC better be upgraded a little bit because this thing does drink processing power like it's going out of style. This is a high resolution headset that's processing a lot. A lower budget rig definitely will file a complaint with HR because this is a genuine monster experience, especially being on a lower end PC. For sit down experiences like Cyberpunk VR, No Man's Sky, Settle Corsa, Elite Dangerous, or Project Wing Man, this headset is absolutely magical and just absolute gorgeous, man. I personally don't get any weird distortion or Weird like visual artifacts, anything like that. No screen door effect for me personally. And even just for shooters, the amount of just being able to see so far because of the resolution and see so wide because of the FOV, it's been pretty nice. I've actually really enjoyed playing shooters in the Pop Master Crystal Light. Now, while it is heavier and it does get hotter, I think with the right management in terms of setup, it could be definitely worth it. So who is this headset actually for? Who would I recommend? the Pi Max Crystal Light too. Now, a lot of videos that I've seen of people kind of reviewing the Crystal Light, they say it's for more hardcore uh, PC VR simmers. Personally, I think it's for both the casual and hardcore crowd. This headset is for people who want pure PC VR and nothing but PC VR. Obviously, the headset doesn't have any standalone or, you know, pass-through games or anything like that, no hand tracking, but it's just a pure visual PC VR experience. I would tell somebody to get the Pi Max Crystal Light if you want the best visuals under $1,000 hands down. Like, nothing else that I have used personally has come close to it in terms of just raw fidelity. Now, there is headsets like the HP Reverb G2, but with... Windows Mixed Reality being in a kind of weird spot right now, I personally wouldn't recommend it. And also, if you have a decent, uh, beastly PC, this is a no-brainer. You're gonna use all that extra power you paid for with that GPU. If you love sim racing or modding, then duh. Yeah, this is a perfect game to kind of test out games like, uh, I don't know, Oblivion, VR, or Settle Corsa, or even people who play DCS. Because personally, the closest I've gotten to Flight Sim is Project Wingman. So. And, and that's, that brings me to another point. If you guys ever want me to do a video just of like my first impressions of playing a true flight sim, 
let me know. I've actually been thinking about doing a video like that. Let me know. But if you don't mind tweaking settings or being tethered to a wire, the Pymax Crystal Light is a great PC VR headset. And if you just want a mid-range beastly PVC VR headset that's in, you know, that $500 to $1,000 range, there's literally nothing else other than probably like a Quest out there. But even, I'm, I did a video comparing both of those headsets. Check that out. But I think if you're really serious about PC VR, the Pymax Crystal Light is going to be a go-to for people under that price range. Especially if you're a person who prioritizes visual fidelity over everything else. All right, guys, that was my review of the Pymax Crystal Light. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the headset. Are you considering picking one up? Did I convince you? Are you like, nah, that's cool too. What's your current PC VR setup? Uh, I do have the Play for Dream versus the Mega Next Super Light AK video coming real soon. I had to take a little hiatus because just life, but your boy is back. Stay tuned. We got more videos coming. If you want more Pymax content, let me know. I uh, kind of know what else to do. I've done, I've done a comparison video. Let me know. It's been Bamar Do VR. Thanks again for the support and the 10,000 dudes, man. 10,000 dudes supported the content. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And remember, Mr. Dude with a lot of VR headsets. Peace.